So, what is prayer and how do we actually pray? So we see that prayer is an open line of communication between you and God. It's a conversation between the believer and God. You see, in prayer, we can be honest with God. We can talk to him, just like this, alone, in our prayer closets, speaking honestly with him. Not in our prayer closets, we acknowledge God. We first acknowledge God for who he is, right? It's very rude to just come up to a person and to just throw a whole bunch of requests at him and just... You know, I want this, I want that, what that. You know, treating God like he's a genie, but he's not. You see, God has and knows the best intentions of our hearts. He knows the intentions in our hearts. He knows what we need. So you might say, why pray even though he knows what we need? Well, God, see, that's the important type of relationship with God. He wants to talk to you even though he knows what you need. One day, a man of God prayed for God to stop the sun for him in the middle of a war. And the sun stayed still for the whole entire day. If God can do this, God can do this for a man of God who asked for something in prayer and in faith, what else can he do? Pray when you are discouraged. Pray when you are mad. Pray when you are upset. Pray when you are feeling any type of urges when you are pray 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 talk to god he wants to hear about your requests he wants to hear about your needs it's important because god wants to have a conversation with you those who believe in him those who love him with all their heart and soul but we also be careful because we also know that there is a way to pray there's a there's a right way to pray there's a wrong way to pray let's let's look at that you see, the wrong way to pray is to pray just like the Pharisees and the Sadducees pray. You see here, Jesus is addressing the Pharisees and the Sadducees for praying openly in, in public. You see, and, and you may ask, why is this wrong? It's wrong because they were praying to be seen. They were praying to be seen how holy they were. They were, they were praying to, to, to show people how spiritual they were, how wise they were, how close and intimate that they had a relationship with God. You see, when we do this, when we act like Pharisees and Sadducees and we use theatrical big words to try to get God's attention, it doesn't really draw or check or impress God. You see, it only, it only shows us that we have a pride thing in our hearts. We don't have to use big words to impress God. We don't have to use use extravagant, you know, expressions and, and, and gestures and all that to, to get God's attention. God knows. You see, the, 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 the pulpit is not a stage and the church is not a theater. We're not here to play and act, but have a genuine and true proven relationship with God. Now, here's the real way how to pray. Let's talk about the prophet Elijah. Now, Elijah... He was a man of prayer. He was a man of God. You see, the prophet Elijah here is going against the 450 prophets of Baal. Um, now, he challenged the, the prophets of Baal to say, if your God is real, you know, let him show up. Let him, let him answer you, right? That didn't happen, of course. Now, you see, Elijah, Elijah proved that God was real by the power of prayer. So here you see Elijah setting up a burnt offering and he even put water around it. If you see that up there, he prays to God right here, right? And if you see that little thing down there, fire comes down after Elijah prayed to God and sets that offering right there on fire. Now that is the real power and effectiveness of prayer. Now prayer is not only a means of protection, it's not only a means of protection, but it's used as a weapon as well. We saw with Elijah, uh, uh, with Elijah, we saw with the man praying for the sun to be uh, stilled for, to help him out in war. You see, so prayer is a very effective thing, but you have to be careful what you pray for because when you pray in prayer, God hears you, he listens to you, right? He gives you what you need. He may not give you what you want, but he will give you what you need. But your prayer, you can pray, be praying, praying, praying for such a thing that when God answers that prayer, it will not, the answer will not be as you expected it to be. And then you will get mad and you get upset. It was like, whoa, 
And then God's like, didn't you ask for that? Didn't you pray for that? You just didn't expect God to answer you in the way that he did. Here is a way how God answers our prayers sometimes. Let's look at them. Sometimes God uses visions or sometimes God speaks through dreams. Sometimes God's, uh, God speaks through the Holy Spirit, an impression on our heart. A scripture comes to mind in your thoughts. When you are praying to God, remember to not always just throw requests at him. It's a good to express our desires and our will, but we should put his desires and his will in front of ours. We should always grant and want to want his desires to be made manifest in our lives, in our lives. We also have the ability to pray for others as well. Intercede. It's called intercession. We're standing in the, on, on the gap in the behalf of someone else to pray for their well-being, to pray for things to happen in their lives, to, for God to intervene according to his will, of course. Let his will be done, whatever he wants to be done, on their behalf. I can go into this whole thing a little bit more, but I hope this helps someone. God bless.